Broken Laws, Broken Lives is a hard-hitting report that looks at medical evidence of torture by US military personnel. The report's claims are based on the experiences of 11 men detained in Afghanistan, Iraq and Guantanamo Bay. It's been published by Physicians for Human Rights, a US-based NGO. The document describes examples of some of the alleged methods of torture. They include forced standing, prolonged isolation, extreme temperatures, electric shocks, sexual and physical assault. BMJ TV caught up with Dr Chris Pross, one of the doctors who examined the ex-detainees. I wouldn't have thought that the United States government would use these kind of methods on detainees in their military prisons. I wouldn't have expected that they would go that far in the degree of brutality and the degree of abuse. In all ex-detainees except one who is coping fairly well, we found that they have long-lasting after effects, all the symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder, nightmare, sleeplessness, irritability, and loss of trust and, uh, in people, and long-lasting physical after effects, like some have joint problems, have um, a severe headaches from being beaten, the medical staff was under the regime of the interrogators. They should have seen that abuses had taken place and they should have done something about it, you know, try to stop the abuses or try to provide the people with adequate care or take them out of these, uh, you know, very harsh uh, stress position regime, very harsh interrogation techniques, but they didn't, and they were, so they were part of the system. The US Department for Defence says the report reaches sweeping conclusions based on dubious allegations. It has defended the quality of medical care it gives to detainees. None of the men interviewed as part of the report were ever charged with any offence. You cannot collect any useful intelligence by this kind of uh, technique because, uh, you know, in pain and horror, uh, you know, a detainee will tell you anything to stop the pain. Look at the world today, I mean, there are so many regimes that torture and it'll go on, but um, I think if something good will come out of it that maybe the US government or the future US government will stop this practices and um, that also attention will, direct, will be directed uh, to the duty of doctors to withstand this kind of abuses and uh, that the World Medical Association and national medical associations will look after, you know, disciplining doctors who break uh, their oath.